Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Regina Celli. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O, o God, God, who gave, gave joy to, to the world through the, the resurrection of your Son, our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ grant, grant we beseech you that through, through the intercession of the Virgin, of the Virgin Mary, Mary, His Mother, Mother we, we may obtain, obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. Who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
holy glory holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O oh my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of your mercy the third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins save, save us from, us from the, the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven. heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell. hell. 
and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, the poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only, only begotten Son, Son by his life, death, death and, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that, that meditating this upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of, of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate, imitate what, what they contain and obtain, obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Mother, for the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Padre Pio. Pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. If light to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsot, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all stand and let us pray the novena to our mother of perpetual help.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Nobina Prayer, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our Mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please mention your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. 
we too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual health, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace. Like your own home at Nazareth, we take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. 
Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen O Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Act of Consecration Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, you are also our mother, ever ready to help us. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your immaculate heart so that we may be your beloved, devoted children. Obtain for us through sorrow for sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we always do the will of our Heavenly Father we consecrate our lives to you that we may love God better and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Please all stand.
please kneel. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially to the Nubina, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially, please mention your sick loved ones. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. For those who are sick, especially with COVID-19. For all those who are serving in the front lines medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staffs, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, airline personnel, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. 
thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed. Today is Wednesday of the fifth week of Easter. Our Mass presiders, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips sh shall shout for joy when I sing to you, Alleluia. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, restorer and lover of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch and me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whenever or whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of today is the same Gospel we have last Sunday. But perhaps the question is, what is the connection of the Gospel to the first reading? What does it mean to remain and fulfilling the Mosaic Law. What is the Mosaic Law? The Jews has 613 laws. 613. Laws of worship, laws of morals, laws on how they live their life. That is the law that governs them. How to wash your hands, how to wash your kettles and mugs. What do you do during Sabbath? How many steps you're allowed? What are the things you cannot do? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, and Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. And you also know, if your righteousness will not surpass the righteousness of the Pharisee, you will not enter heaven. Pag yun ang mga tiningnan mo, walang maliligtas talaga yata sa atin. Kaya pangahawakan natin ang habag ng Diyos. But, why is law given not choke us, not to choke us, not to brand, prevent us from living a life of freedom, but perhaps to have some guide fo post on what you can and what you cannot, what you should and what you should not. Alam mo yung hanggang saan ka lang, hanggang saan ka lang. At kampante ka na ay, hindi ko naman ginawa or nagawa ko ba? Nagawa ko ba? What is good about the Mosaic Law? In Israel, the only law that rules is the Mosaic Law. That's why you can find 
government officials, Ministry of Health, Finance, even Prime Ministers go to jail. They go to jail. Why? Because they have failed to do the law. No lawyers can, can help you get out of the law if you break any of the Mosaic law. No lawyers. If a lawyer tries to defend you because you have broken the Mosaic law, the lawyers will go to jail. Magandang practice yun. Magandang practice yun. Hindi yun naghahanap ka ng butas paano ka makakalusot sa batas. Alam lang lahat. The moment you break the law, you go to jail. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, baliktad naman tayo, di ba? Baliktad tayo. Yun ang ating palaging biro. Pag may ginawa kang kasalanan, huwag kang magpapahuli. Pag nahuli ka, huwag kang aamin. Pag hindi ka na makalusot, magturo ka para dalawa kayo nakakulong. Yan ang batas natin. Kaya namamayagpag ang mga korab, magnanakaw, manloloko, nandyan. Pero magandang pagtunan ng pansin. When God said, what glorifies the Father is when you bear fruits. Not only that you're able to do the law, but you ask yourselves, do you bear fruits? May bunga ka ba? May bunga ka ba? Let us go beyond the law of the states. The Catholic Church has the same. We have the law of worship, and we call it liturgy, the cult, C-U-L-T. And we have the law of faith, and we call it the creed. The creed. And we have the law of morals, we call it the code. The code, the creed, and the cult. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you cannot, you cannot say, I, I, I love you if you break the law. Halimbawa, you know that one of the laws is to honor your mother and father. Just as simple, honor your father and mother. And you ask yourself, do I honor my mother? Do I honor my father? When you fail to respect them, when you fail to provide for them in their old age, when you have failed to protect your mother being abused by your father, hindi ka nagsasalita na sabi nga o hindi, ka, hindi ko alam kung anong balak mo sa buhay mo na nakikita mong sinasaktan ng iyong ama ang iyong ina. A simple law, thou shalt not commit adultery. And we all know that adultery is not just breaking the relationship when we say, you had a sexual relationship not with your wife or not with your husband. Adulterous relationship means the relationship is not pure or adulterated. Anything that is not pure, adulterated. Nakikipagtali ka sa asawa mo, pero ibang laman ang isip mo. You have to learn to re-examine yourselves. Not only what is sin externally, but what is, the, what is in your heart. As many times being said, it is not enough that we do the right thing. We must do the right thing for the right reason. You ask the purity of heart. Ang kalooban. Hindi sapat na nagdadasal. Ano ang kalooban mo sa iyong pagdadasal habang pinagdadasal? Habang pinagdadasal? Nasusubukan yan ngayon 
lalong lalo na kapag meron kang mahal na mahal sa buhay na nasa hospital, nasa COVID, severe, alam mong parang metro yung gastos. Lord, kunin mo na lang. Kunin mo na lang. Ang laki na nababayaran namin. Di ba? Kunin mo na lang, Lord. Dati pinagdadasal mo, Lord, kung talagang mamamatay, wag mo nang pahirapan. Ngayon, Lord, ang laki na ng gastos, kunin mo na, Lord. Di ba? Ano ang mga panalangin? Ano ang mga panalangin? Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, doon sa mga napakaraming taong nagpo-post how to avoid, how what to take, what kind of medicine, how do you discipline your life so that you will not get COVID, ngayon sila yung affected. Sila yung father, pagdasal mo naman, COVID kami. What happened? What happened? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. In the things, in the things that we do, we are doing. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is not enough that we do the law. It is not enough that we fulfill it. The more it is not enough that people look at us doing the law. As I have said, do not settle for impressions. God looks at the character or God looks at your heart. Do not depend on how you are being perceived by people. Look at your character. Because perception can be wrong and can be clouded. Again, look at your hearts in terms of how you obey the Lord. And second, how much of this obedience to the Lord really make you connected to Him and help you bear fruits. It is not enough that we do the right thing. We must do the right thing for the right reason. And not all reasons are rooted in purity of heart. It is in the purity of heart that we get connected with God. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work given hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water in wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that 
the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our Savior, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Roderick, our administrator, all the bishops, and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence, and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. By the blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord. For you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus. In life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth, and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with a soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. I go again. I would like to reiterate that we are not monetizing any of our masses, recollections, talk, whatever. 
we are not monetizing it. But because somebody was able to get a copyright for all the songs, I do not know how they did it. And because of that, any songs being played in YouTube, they monetize it. So, just for your information, we will be muting the songs in YouTube. We will be muting the songs in YouTube. Sign language muna tayo pagdating ng kanta. Until those who are in authority can do something about it. Still, it's unfathomable how come responses in masses Gloria, Lamb of God, Holy, Holy. How come they will get copyrighted anyway? There is something wrong happening. Going back to what I've said, my brothers and sisters, do not forget this. That doing the law is the minimum of love. Doing the law is the minimum of love. Disregarding the law means you don't love at all. So, wag mo sasabing minamahal mo kung hindi mo naman sinusunod ang batas. Mahirap yung gumagawa ka ng batas, bawal magmura. Ang pwede lang magmura ay siya. Di ba? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our... To you do we cry, poor banished children of people. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this body of... Turn the most gracious advocate your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Ingat po palagi. God bless.